I need to do an FTP test to set my training zones before I start doing all my training for, uh, well, you didn't miss much, Brian. I, uh, I broke down like half of a crit that I had done and, uh, that was it. I got the call to go hang out with my fiance, which I did happily. But today I'm going to try to get through that whole race. I'm going to do a bunch of things. First thing, I'm going to do an FTV test, which I think is going to be pretty disappointing, but you got to do it to know. Um, it's my first, so I had a ton of time off in the last couple of weeks. I had, in the last five weeks, I've had 12 days off. A little bit of both. I mean, really, it's for... I'm going to do a block that is cyclocross focused, but those kind of cross over perfectly. Uh, cyclocross, one hour of power, a lot of anaerobic stuff. Um, I'll probably do some e-racing, but I'll just be like taking uh, workouts out of my plan for CX and then uh, slotting them in. Yep, here we go, Graham. So this is going to be a disappointing one. I uh, had more time off. I think more like consistent, solid time off here than I've had like maybe ever since I started racing for real. Had a wedding a couple weeks ago in Cape Cod that uh, took me off the bike for five days. Then I was back for two weeks. Did that... 20k time trial which I won um and then had my band went on tour last week I'm in a, a post-punk band called Seriously we went out with Man or Astro Man uh last week um I can do that okay here's the thing Rampage I could do that, but it's going to uh it's gonna mess up my whole layout for um the rest of let's see. I'll try it, I'll try it. Cause that is a good point. Let's put it up here. How is nope? I'm gonna hope that this does it. How's that? A little messy. I like to have the chat window on here. I'm a. Uh... So, I'm gonna do this ramp test. Then, depending on how hard this feels, I might do the 20 minute workout vault. And I'll just try to chat during that. But then I want to go on to Strava and use the Strava Sauce plugin to look at Jay Vine's data from today from the Vuelta. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert, alert for Vuelta Stage 6. Jay Vine, a former Zwift Academy winner, he won the stage. So... <laughs> so that's the next thing I'm going to do and I'm hoping that uh, having chat while I do that people will have some interesting questions and stuff and it'll be a fun you know little thing maybe if that's cool I'll clip it and put it on YouTube afterwards and then I'm thinking after that I'm going to try to do another hour of easy spinning and we can watch my crit race from Nashville from three weeks ago, I guess. A few weeks ago. Uh, I've been meaning to break it down for a long time, but I think I'm just going to do it like this, live on Twitch, and then maybe take that full-length video, cut down to the highlights, and put that stuff on YouTube later. But for both of those things, 
I want to have a chat. Obviously, when this gets hard, eventually, I will not be chatting a ton, but then then I'll, I'll bring it back. Yeah, it would, that would help, Rampage, for sure. Because 120 is uh, not red for me. This is weird. I normally don't do the Zwift ramp test. I normally do the trainer road one. Um, but I really just want to make sure that I'm in kind of the zone I think I'm in. I'm not worried about it like down to the down to the watt being exactly right, but I do want to have my ballpark correct. Because like I said, I've never taken this much time off in in this short a period of time, like since I started racing. I don't feel like I'm way, way down on power. I did jump right into the Tuesday Hammerfest ride, Tuesday Night Worlds here in Birmingham on Tuesday. That was my first ride back on the bike after a week traveling and not riding at all. And I did fine. Um, I was second to the top of the, uh, it's like a race simulation ride. We basically uh, treat it like a road race, except that we do stop for lights if we get caught for about 45 minutes, 60 minutes, depending on how fast we're going. Um, but I was second to the to the finish on that one. Led out my teammate Zach for the win. Uh, Zach had a good ride last weekend at the Criterium Three Crits in Mobile. Um, Brian, I, I like 4DP too, actually. I thought about doing that. I think my um, premium RGT and Wahoo has has lapsed. I think I let some stuff go to the wayside in the summer. But yeah, I think 4DP would probably actually be uh, more, more useful for this since I am going to be doing a lot of VO2 work with whatever number I come up, come up with here. Um, but I didn't want to figure out A, how to set my stream up for that, and B, get my account going again. So I think my peak FTP for this year was like 287, which I'm 61 kgs right now. So, um, between 4.5 and 5 watts a kilo. Like, 5 watts a kilo is about as good as my FTP ever gets. And even that is probably overestimated a little bit. Because the ramp test is a little more anaerobic. And the 4DP test, which kind of breaks everything down, breaks out the power zones a little bit more, does show that I'm a more anaerobic heavy rider than aerobic. Yeah, I did one. Actually, I didn't do the 4DP. I did the half Monty, which uh, just tests your FTP and your VO2. But I figured that would be good enough to give me a better... Uh, some better zones for my workouts and it did so usually with a ramp test though whatever the result is in the coming week i'll try and do two by 20 at that number and uh normally that should feel pretty hard but pretty manageable and if not maybe i need to uh recalculate but that gives me kind of a barometer of how it went. Yeah, I feel the same way, Graham. Um, it's harder to mess it up. You just go until you can't go. Especially in erg mode. Like, just keep your spin pretty consistent. 
I guess the one way to game this test is uh, if you stand up at the end. That can mess it up. But just don't stand up and you're good. So I'm guessing my peak for the year has been like 285, 290. I'm guessing right now I'm between 240 and 280. Somewhere in that band. That's weird, Brian. I feel like I overshoot it usually. Bet all these people with the Bowie group are going to be like, what is this guy doing? Oh, y'all let me know if game audio is uh, too loud. Hopefully it's okay. I almost never, like a race, I never get a really solid 20 minute effort. All right, coming up on four watts a kilo here. Think, try to hang on through the 360 watt. So you set an FTP, Brian, with a test, and then later you best that in a race. Maybe part of it is how I race. I race pretty anaerobic. So it's not usually a really consistent effort. I'm normally kind of up and down. Yeah. Maniac, the uh, ramp test for someone who's really... Uh, VO2 heavy, it will, um, it will overestimate. Brian, I'm becoming a time trialist. I've done two this year. Done two, one two, in the Mercs category. So, among people who don't time trial, I'm a good time trialist. <laughs> but, I've been trying to get better at that skill. Every time, Graham, every time I'm tempted. But then I realize I'm not actually good. I'm just good for someone who doesn't do time trials. Yeah, for sure, Ben. Ramp test is going to maybe underestimate for someone who's a diesel. You know, I bet that's what it is for uh, for Brian as well. He's also a diesel. Nice, Brian. That's awesome. Even the last merch style I won, my numbers weren't crazy. Uh, 360, Maniac. 380 would put me, that would mean I like somehow took 12 days off and lost nothing. I think that's unrealistic. I mean, I'm going to go for it, but it would just be too crazy. I don't think that's happening. <laughs> yeah, Grim, we can try it. All right, next three minutes, got to really focus up. Probably stop talking here. Talk amongst yourselves. Be back in maybe four minutes.
Two hard minutes, let's go. One more minute, let's go. Got it. Let's go for That's it. <sighs> Farther than I thought. Ooh, that seems high. As we said, more anaerobic component to this test. Thanks, y'all. I normally do the uh, trainer road test, which uh, starts higher. <laughs> no thanks, Graham. I think I might do the workout vault real quick. Or at least part of it. Just to uh, finish out an hour of power 
Yeah, Brian, I suspect the 4DP would have me a little lower. Huh. Feels good. Feels good to smash out a big FTP test. Also feels unrealistic at this point. But I'll take it. I am very fresh. Is that? I did a good opener on Tuesday with that hard group ride. Vin was there. It was particularly hard, even among Tuesday worlds. And I got off the front a couple of different times solo. So I was doing work. Yes, that opened the legs up a little bit. <laughs> Yep. Feeling the dry heave. That's how you know. That's how you know I was close to a uh, max. As with every ramp test, the second I stopped, I thought I could have gone 30 more seconds. But that that is the trick of the ramp test. It's easier than you think it is. For like it's less cumulative training load, so you like immediately feel fitter, or you immediately feel recovered, which is why I'm going to end this one and jump straight in. Can I do this? Can I go straight from one workout to another workout? Uh, is it I'm looking for a vault? I think it's under here. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Never done that before. But you can just straight up go from one workout to another workout.